In Matthew chapter 6, verse 34, Jesus says, Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Once again, therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. The Greek word for anxious that Jesus uses twice is merimnao. Merimnao. It means to go to pieces. To divide in parts or go to pieces. Isn't that amazing? We say, well, I'm falling to pieces, right? Don't fall to pieces. Don't go to pieces, right? It also means to be anxious and to care or worry. But don't fall to pieces. I like that. Don't, don't go into pieces about tomorrow. Don't be worrying about tomorrow. Don't be fearing or being care or anxiety about tomorrow because tomorrow has its own trouble, right? Do you know what he says though? He says, therefore, therefore do not. What's there for? There's something that he's saying it because in the previous verse, he says, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things, all the things you need are going to be added to you. That's the secret of not being anxious or falling to pieces. We all say seek first the kingdom of God. But we forget that it says, and his righteousness. Now, his righteousness is different than your righteousness if you're trying to become righteous. You're seeking his righteousness. Now, his righteousness is a whole lot of righteousness. How can you get his righteousness? How can you, how can you receive his righteousness? You guys should know this. Righteousness only comes to you as a free gift through the abundance of God's grace, according to Romans chapter 5 verse 17, which, which Paul wrote. Okay? Righteousness can only come to you as a free gift, meaning you cannot work for it, you cannot earn it, you cannot merit it, meaning that you are deserving of it because you did something to get it, right? When you go to work every day, you are meriting a paycheck. You're working to get a paycheck. But righteousness doesn't work that way. You cannot merit it to get to get God to give it to you. Okay, here you go. I credit you righteousness because you have done something to deserve it. It's by the abundance of his grace that you receive it as a free gift, okay? And then the next thing is 2 Corinthians 5.21, which says that Jesus, who knew no sin, sin wasn't in him, he didn't produce sin from within, and it didn't get into him, right? He knew no sin. That's what that Greek word knew means, ginosko. He had no intimate relationship with sin. He was very well aware of sin, so he had knowledge of it, but he didn't gnosko it, meaning it wasn't produced from within and it didn't enter into him. There's an intimacy behind that word gnosko. So he who knew no sin, Jesus knew no sin, was made sin. He wasn't made sin because he did sin. He received it into himself and in exchange, you become the righteousness of God in him. Do you hear that? You become the righteousness of God in him. Jesus was made sin. You are made righteous. Jesus didn't merit sin. You didn't merit righteousness. So how did you get it? By receiving it as a free gift through his grace. You're saying, I do. Amen to your righteousness. You just sought first the kingdom and his righteousness. Do you see that? We can tell everybody, seek first the kingdom. Just keep on seeking first the kingdom and everything will be added to you. No, 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 no. You got to get his righteousness in you. And then all those things are added to you. And he says, so do not fall to pieces because of what you're thinking about tomorrow. Today has enough problems of its own. Worrying about tomorrow is not going to do anything for you, right? If you are bathed, if your mind is marinated, marinated, soaked, into the belief that you have been made the righteousness of God, that means you've got God's favor by your side, inside of you at all times. 
He is with you. He is for you. You can cast all your cares and worries and anxieties upon him because he's there for you, right? He is for you. And there's no other name that is greater than the name of Jesus. Every knee must bend and every head must bow to the name of Jesus. That includes COVID. That includes the getting the you know what, the name of that stuff. It includes everything. It includes your, your the, 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 the Democratic Party that you might hate or the Republican Party that you might hate, whichever one it is, or maybe both. That his name is above all that. His name is above every governmental authority. His name is above any president, any dictator, any ruler there is. The name above all names. Every knee must bend and every head must bow. But you've got to have faith. We've got to have faith in that name, you guys. That name doesn't work for us unless we have faith in that name. Do you understand that? Faith becomes active when you, in that name, the power of his name, it goes into action when you apply faith to it, just like his saving grace. Paul says in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8, that we are saved by grace, but it's through faith. Your faith is what grabs hold of that salvation. Do you understand that? Faith in his name. Don't lose faith in his name and don't put your faith in, in what the news and all these other guys are saying because you'll put faith in that. Faith comes by what you're hearing, Paul says. So what are you hearing? Are you hearing from the news? Are you hearing the negative report? Are you hearing the fear indoctrination? Or are you hearing what God has to say about the situation? Because you guys, this is, we're, we're in it, man. These are, these, we are experiencing what's called labor pains, right? Whether the Antichrist is here or not, it, he's about to be birthed, so to speak. Not that he's going to be a baby or anything, but the birth of the Antichrist, the revelation of the Antichrist. It's all coming to a head, you guys. We're in these tremors before the earthquake happens, right? The ground is shaking. The labor pains are happening. And we're worried. We're being scared about what's coming. I hear it all the time. I know it is. It is. It, 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 it can be very fearful. But we got to trust in what Jesus says, right? And you got to trust that you've been made the righteousness of God in him. You got to seek God's righteousness, his righteousness, not your own. If you're trying to seek your own righteousness by performing right and doing right, which there's nothing wrong with doing right. There's nothing wrong with obedience. Obedience means to do what you hear, whether it's in God's word. Or if you hear it spoken from somebody's mouth about God's word. Or if the Holy Spirit is telling you something from God's word. You understand that? Obedience is doing what you heard. Hupakuo in Greek, to do what you heard. That's what obedience is. So there's nothing wrong with that. But when you're trying to justify yourself or make yourself righteous because of your obedience, because you're going to show God, then you're going to get worried in this life because anytime you fail, you're going to think God left left you. That's why you got to immediately do what's called, in, in English, repentance, but in Greek it's called metanoia change your mind change your mind when you when you mess up or anything change your mind and focus on God's righteousness not your own I'm a big old unrighteous mess no focus on God's righteousness seek first his righteousness you understand that now I want to end this video with this because I heard something really cool this morning and it stuck to me I heard somebody say it's not the water outside of the boat that makes the boat sink. It's the water that gets inside of the boat that makes the boat sink. I'll say it one more time. It's not the water outside of the boat that makes the boat sink. It's the water that gets into the boat that makes the boat sink. So outside of the boat, we've got all of these worries and fears and, and everybody's afraid and, 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 and they're, 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 they're bending their knee, they're bowing their head, right? Prost, prostrating themselves to whatever they hear that they're supposed to do from media or government or whatever else, even religion. 
proskuneo in Greek. Proskuneo, to prostrate oneself, or bow, or even to kiss the hand. I'll do as you bid, whatever it takes. That's, a, that's called worship, proskuneo in Greek, right? When you do that, you're letting the waters get inside of your boat. All that fear that's coming from the outside, yeah, the water might be on the outside, but when you let it get in, it means you're letting it get into you, guys. That's why it's Peter that says, cast all that stuff upon the Lord. You got those waters outside of the boat that are getting into you, cast them out. It's like when somebody's trying to save their boat from sinking, they grab buckets because water got in there. And so what do they do? They cast that water out. Cast all of those worries and anxieties and fears upon the Lord. Why? Because he loves you and he cares for you. He doesn't want those waters to sink your boat. Know what I'm saying? I thought that was just a great saying, you guys. And I, I hope that message blesses you. And I hope you meditate on this message today. It's not the waters outside the boat that sinks it. It's the waters that get into the boat that sink it. And how do they get in there? By us allowing them. Allowing them. Because Jesus says, let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. There's the word let. Don't allow your heart to be troubled. Don't allow it to be afraid. How can you get rid of fear? Perfect love. Meditate on his perfect love for you. Meditate on that you have been made the righteousness of God in you and nothing, nothing can take that away from you because you've been made the righteousness of God. You understand that? You didn't do it to become righteous. You just were made it because you trusted in Jesus. And I'm going to end this video here. You guys, God bless you all. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video.